Hey guys, and welcome back to another more with Moro's video. Today we have another Walmart grocery haul. But this grocery haul is going to be a little bit different because I decided I am going to completely clean out and rearrange our fridge completely. Now for the most part, it is very organized. You know, we have like the different clear bins, but there's a lot going on in here. It also needs to be wiped down. It's pretty gross because I don't even remember the last time I've done that. There's stuff that's in there in the back that's expired, things that we haven't touched in months. So I'm going to go through all of it, rearrange it, reorganize it. Basically, you guys know how I do my grocery hauls and I'll do like a pantry organizational video. We're just gonna do that, but with the fridge instead. But let's first jump into all the groceries that I got. So the only thing that is missing from this grocery haul is that Frank is going to get some meat from Publix. So we have some dinner meals that I'll talk to you guys about as I'm going through this, but we just don't have the meat for it yet. So chicken, I think a pot roast and some salmon, that's it. But it's been a hot minute since I got little bite muffins for the kids. I think we at least made it a couple months without buying any boxes of little bites and they missed them and on a whim, I was like, okay, we'll go ahead and get them even though I just feel like they are just a little bit too pricey. The prices of groceries, you guys already know, have gone up. The prices of little bites have gone up. The prices of eggs have gone up. So I splurged, I got them some little bites. So we have strawberry yogurt ones and their favorite blueberry muffins. As you can see, they've already gotten into a box oh my gosh there's already three bags gone so you guys can see they have definitely missed them they already got into it and took almost all of the pouches but we got some apples over here i think these are honey crisps that's usually the ones that i get and then i have a spaghetti squash over here i'm gonna make myself some spaghetti with ground turkey and spaghetti sauce i'll bake this in the oven and then shred it like spaghetti I also got some mushrooms for my omelets in the morning. I've been really loving egg white omelets, so I'll add all different kind of veggies, but one of my favorite things to put in there is some sliced baby bella mushrooms. So I got two things of cherry tomatoes. One is going to be for pesto chicken. That's actually a dinner meal that I feel like I always talk about every time I do a grocery haul, but we, I haven't had it in like over a month now. So I got one to go for that because we're gonna roast that. So one is for that dinner and then the other one is for my omelets. And I also got some bell peppers. I'll eat this with basically anything. Hummus, tuna, I'll put it in my omelet as well. Frank and the kids do not like bell peppers. So these are just for me. Speaking of hummus, I got some more classic Sabra hummus, some more Danimal smoothies for the kids. This one is banana and strawberry. For some reason, my camera is not wanting to focus. There we go. Um, so I got a big thing of Danimal smoothies, 18 eggs, some potatoes. We're also having Mississippi pot roast. So we're gonna do some mashed potatoes. I got a big bag of gold Idaho potatoes and some pretzel crisps, a big size of those. I think this is a Nolan favorite. He really likes those pretzels. I got one English cucumber, some Texas toast. This is for, I think I got this for chicken parm. I'm gonna make chicken parmesan one night with spaghetti. And I got some Texas toast to go with that. Some Ritz cheese crackers, bag of frozen wild blueberries. So I'll have these with my yogurt smoothies, or I've also started putting them on my protein waffles. I actually just got some this weekend. Let me show you guys, cause I'll make a couple, here we are, a couple of these. I'll add some of my PB Fit on top of it with some blueberries and the Carrie's low sugar, low calorie, or it might be no sugar, no, I can't, something like that. Um, but I'll have that as breakfast and that was really, really good. I got some green grapes, blueberries, and a big two pound, thing of strawberries got some cheese for the kids lunches i got one colby jack and the other is mild cheddar sliced cheese some brussels sprouts for one of the dinners i can't remember which one maybe the salmon but i just noticed that some of them don't look that good so i don't know how i feel about that some of them look fine and then this one doesn't so maybe i just need to pick away the leaves but um, sometimes I've noticed whenever, you know, we do pick up orders and somebody shops for us, it's always a hit or miss with the produce. Usually they do really well. Like you guys can see like these blueberries 
and strawberries look really, really good, but sometimes you'll get other stuff. You're like, mm, I don't know how I feel about that, but we'll manage, we'll, we'll try it. And then I got two apple juice pouches back here for the kids. Um, I've got the Sargento Balance Break Snacks. I figured this would be a great snack for the kids after school. So there's this one with cashews, dried cranberries, and sharp cheddar cheese. And then this one that's just cheese and crackers with wheat thins. And then underneath here is my ground turkey for my spaghetti squash. And also my favorite oatmeal. I love to make protein oatmeal. And I'll even add this in smoothies too. I really love this brand, the Bob's Red Mill Gluten-Free. Also got some Simply go for the kids, strawberry mixed berry, my egg whites back there. I tried the Trader Joe's one. It was okay, I liked it, but I think this one is my favorite, the Bob Evans brand one. Got some mandarin oranges, gallon of milk for Pechi, also orange juice, which he already got into as well. Fletcher loves his orange juice. Look, he's already eyeing it. Do you like orange juice? Do you like it? Ew. Did you poop? I think you pooped. Yep. No? We got some unsalted butter. This is for, I mainly got that actually for the Mississippi pot roast. Pepperoni for the kids' lunches. I got one thing of honey ham lunch meat and then one thing of turkey breast. And then I got myself these extreme wellness wraps. They have high fiber, but I'm more like impressed with the carb, so only 10 grams of carb. I'm really trying to do high protein, low carb, low sugar right now, which is really, really hard. I'm trying my best, you guys, but 30 calories per tortilla. I've tried these before. I really like them. Actually, I've made these with enchiladas and I could not tell the difference. So um, they were out of the ones that I got before, so they substituted with these. And they're keto friendly. Not going keto, but I just noticed that they're keto friendly. And, um, I don't know, I love them. If you guys haven't heard of them, definitely try them out. And I also really love my turkey bacon. I'll have it in my omelets as well, by itself, and sandwiches. I could even do like a wrap with these, with the turkey bacon in the air fryer too, is really, really good. And then Harlow and Scarlett both love the cinnamon bread by Pepperidge Farm, the swirl kind. They love it with cream cheese. Actually, Scarlett wanted it as a sandwich, so I put one on one slice and just like put the bread on top and she just ate it like a sandwich. Like they love it. She's moved on from blueberry bagels to this now because Harlow was obsessed with blueberry bagels. And then Nolan, he is my guy that just, he does not like fruit. He doesn't like veggies. We try all the time with him. He's just, he's very picky in that department, but I will get him these mandarin oranges and he loves them. I gotta, t I gotta take what I could get. So I got those for him. Um, these are actually for Fletcher. He loves anything squeezy. <laughs> can hear him back. He's currently fighting with Coco. But like I was saying, he loves anything squeezies. They're perfect on the go in the car. So I mainly got him these. And then I got two of the Ben's original ready rice basmati. I think I'm gonna make like a chicken bowl. I can't remember what it's called. I saw it on Pinterest, but it's like a recipe that I'm gonna try for lunch. And then a big box of chips. Of course, cannot forget the chips. Kids love these. They love them as an after school snack or they'll take it as a snack for school. And then Nolan's personal favorite are these bacon Cheez-Its. He really loves the bacon and cheddar duo kind. These are his all time favorites. So I got him a box of those. And then I recently discovered Quest tortilla styled protein chips. And you guys, these are so, so good. This one is the chili lime. It has 20 grams of protein. I tried to get the other, I can't remember what it was called, spicy chili or something like that, but they were out of it. So they substitute it with these. But I don't care because these are still my favorite. I even put it on top of a taco salad, like crunched it up, had it with some pico. It is really, really good. So three bags of those. Um, Scarlett had a cough this morning. I'm starting to think it was more allergy related. Like she was coughing and coughing and coughing. So I got this Highlands cold and cough combo pack, like the daytime and nighttime. But I ended up giving her Zyrtec this morning and seeing if maybe if, if it was allergy related because no, not Nolan. Fletcher's been coughing a lot and it's because of his allergies. And sure enough, it cleared right up after I gave her the Zyrtec. So we just have extra cold and cough medicine now, but it's fine because we were actually out of that anyways. And then this is for the chicken Parmesan. Got some thin spaghetti. 
brown gravy mix. You will also need ranch mix for the Mississippi pot roast. And then we're also, like I said, doing pesto chicken. So I needed a jar of traditional basil pesto. I got this for the chicken Parmesan. I've also really loved these Fair Life protein shakes lately. I love the vanilla one. It literally tastes like vanilla ice cream. It is so good. I haven't tried the chocolate one yet and they were out of vanilla. So they substitute it with two chocolates. So I got four of those family size of Lucky Charms, some minced garlic, and then I ran out of rice vinegar, so I got some more of that. Parmesan, or grated Parmesan for the chicken Parmesan. Two bags of baby goldfish, and then I needed some more mason jars for my produce, so I got three huge ones. Since I got so many strawberries and blueberries, I'm hoping to fit a lot into those because that's the best way I've found to store our produce for longer, like it will last a lot longer when you use the mason jars. So I think I got everything. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. I think I got it all. So we're gonna go ahead and start putting everything up and then also cleaning and reorganizing this fridge. Here is a good before and I just realized I already had minced garlic. <laughs> Just discovering that. Here is a before. And you guys will see the whole process as I'm doing it. So like I said before, I do not remember the last time I did a deep cleaning of this refrigerator. It's probably been, <laughs> I hate to admit this, but it's probably been close to a year since I've actually taken everything out. Of course, if we have spills, I wipe them up and clean that up. But it's definitely probably been closer to a year since I've done a deep clean of the fridge where I've taken everything out, wiped everything down. And as I was doing this, I was like, ooh, this is way dirtier than I thought. You guys will see. I'll give you guys some very up close and candid shots because I'm, you guys know I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm going to share the good, the bad, the ugly, the everything. So um, I didn't realize how much stuff we have in this fridge. If you actually think about it, our fridge is not that big. I don't know if you guys know the story, but we had to get a certain size to be able to fit, like when we bought our house, to be able to fit this space for the fridge. And we looked high and low. And I think... It was like three different options of fridges that we could have picked and we went with this one and actually we regret it because it is a Samsung and the Ice Master you guys can see over there in the top left corner. They put that in the fridge. They put it in the fridge portion and guess what? It always messes up. It always freezes over or it always thaws out. So we actually have to stop using it and it's been like a huge issue with this particular fridge. Um, so if we ever move, we'll probably just end up buying a new one and leaving this one here because we hate it so much. Um, but like I told you guys, I'm going to show you everything and I didn't even know how long these blueberries have been down here. Um, I think one of the kids accidentally spilled them. There's even like confetti <laughs> in the fridge too, but I think one of the kids had spilled them underneath there and then just didn't tell me, didn't clean it up. So that was a fun discovery and then I don't know what that is you guys I do not know what that was over there whatever it was was really sticky and hard to get off so I ended up getting a wet washcloth and like a really hot one to try to get it up and it literally took so long it was so sticky I had to scrub and scrub and scrub this is probably why I should do this more often <laughs> because of how nasty fridges can actually get if you think about it just like food dripping everywhere at least our fridge maybe we're just we're just the only ones but um ignore all the dishes in the sink you guys I did not get a chance to do the dishes yet when I was filming this video but I'm just pretty much dumping out the liquid of all the stuff that's expired or not good anymore. So after I wiped off everything on the inside of the fridge, I started wiping down all of the clear bins where we store a majority of our food. Some of them were actually fine. I was impressed. Some of them were still clean. Some of them not so much. So I just, regardless, just gave it a quick wipe down and then reorganized the food back into their designated bins.
this was the part where I noticed I'm gonna have to do a little rearranging and play a little bit of Tetris with the bins because of just how our fridge is, like I was saying before, it's pretty small and actually using these bins, I'm able to utilize more space because I don't have all the bulky boxes and everything. And I feel like we're able to fit more stuff into our fridge by doing it this way. But just because of how the layout of the fridge is, it's, it's a little difficult when it comes to the bins. I gotta like make sure to fit them correctly so that I can utilize the whole space. So you guys will see, I was doing a little bit of rearranging as I was putting everything back, but I also gotta make room for other stuff. So any like little nook and cranny that I can fit stuff in, like my protein drinks, I was like putting them on the side over here. I will try to use every space that I can. So here's another part of the fridge that I know I have not cleaned in forever, and that's where I store all the vegetables and fruits, which is probably the place that gets the grossest the most. You guys, I know I cannot be the only one that, you know, you're going and you're looking through your veggies or your fruits and you find a vegetable, a cucumber or whatever that's been sitting back there at least for three weeks that you just didn't see and it's all moldy and nasty. I know I am not the only one, okay? So I gave that a good clean and this just also made me realize how often, like or how more often I should be cleaning my fridge because if you think about it, that's really, really gross. But uh, at least, at least I'm doing it, okay? <laughs> at least I'm doing it. I forgot to mention that I'm just cleaning out everything or wiping everything down with all purpose spray. I didn't wanna use anything too harsh. I did use some Lysol wipes in some spots that were really, really gross, but because I am like storing food and everything, I don't wanna use something too harsh. Um, and also, can I go on a rant for a second about condiments? Because your girl, I love my condiments. I love all kinds of mayonnaise, mustard, ranch, barbecue sauce, soy sauce. But can I just say, there's just some condiments that I don't use as often and they do sit in there for a few months and they expire. Can we just like make mini versions of condiments? You know, things that I don't use as often. That way I just don't waste as much because I feel like I just waste so much food because I don't go through them as fast. Like look, for example, can we just have like little condiments like that? Like that's perfect. That's why I save them, like save all the extras from fast food because that's like the perfect size and portion that I need. Is that just me? Maybe that's just me. Um, but I'm now using the new mason jars that I got from the haul. Have you guys started using these yet? I'm telling you guys, I highly recommend using them for veggies, fruits, pretty much anything that's perishable because it's going to last longer. It just, for me, I noticed that it will last maybe, nothing too crazy, maybe like a few days longer. Like strawberries can go bad pretty fast, raspberries go bad pretty fast, and this just makes them last just a tad had longer. So while I was filming and organizing and cleaning, Frank did go to Publix and went ahead and got all of our meat. So he got chicken breast, roast, salmon. So by this point, I had finished with the main part of the fridge and now I'm cleaning out our pullout drawer where we keep pretty much like all of our 
cheeses and meats like deli meats and um, my protein drinks and I'm just giving this a good wipe down I actually didn't need to be organized or clean too much it just honestly needed a good wipe down again a mystery stuff that I, I don't know I had to pick off because it was stuck on there but just wipe that down and then pretty much put everything right back where it was Originally, I was just going to leave the freezer as it is. I almost didn't even want to tackle it because I knew it was going to be a big job. And at this point, I was already getting so tired. But you know, I was like, I already made it this far. I might as well just go all the way. So I went ahead and started organizing and cleaning the freezer, which I'm so glad I did because it just felt so good to be able to complete the whole fridge and have it all organized and all clean. And again, I don't know when's the last time I did this. So it just felt good to get all that crumbs and extra food that fell and like just random stuff that was expired or freezer burned and that was it. So of course I had to give you guys a final overview and show you how it turned out. It still looks the same as it did before like as far as reorganizing it and how I had all the bins but I still think that it looks 10 times better than it did before and it just feels so good to get rid of all the bad stuff because now I know everything in my fridge currently right now is good it's not expired everything is clean everything is wiped down everything is organized I can pretty much see everything which just helps um, save on not letting food go bad by being able to see everything so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I hope it gave you guys some cleaning and organizing motivation if it did please give this video a thumbs up I just want to say thank you guys so 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 much for watching and I'm actually doing a organization series and organizing different areas of my house so stay tuned the next area of the house that I'm organizing is going to be our kitchen so thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in our next video bye guys